हेलो फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज मिनिमाइजेशन ऑफ डी एफ ए सो इफ यू गो थ्रू द ट्रांजिशन डायग्राम यू कम टू नो दैट वी हैविंग द स्टेट ए बी सी डी ई सो टोटल वी हैविंग फाइव स्टेट हाउ वी कैन इजिली मिनिमाइज अ स्टेट माइट बी थ्री फोर मीन्स हाउ यू कैन रेड्यूज द स्टेट बाय चेकिंग द इनपुट सिम्बॉल इफ सपोज हैविंग अ सेम इनपुट कंसिडर जीरो and by processing zero if i am reaching to a state of b and c means in a simple way consider i having a state a and b so by processing zero i reach to some other state that is say suppose c and again in b by processing zero i am reaching to a state c that is to a same state by processing zero so why not to reduce or to minimize this dfa simply by joining a and b as a one state and by processing zero i am reaching to a state of c that is same state so in this way you can easily minimize you can easily reduce the state means here we having a b c three states and we have minimized it to a two state only so in this way we can minimize by checking the input symbol so i having a dfa by processing zero in a i am reaching to a state of b same as by processing one i am reaching to a state of c in this way b c by processing zero it is reaching to a state that is d e self loop so the first important point is to draw a transition table for this particular transition diagram so i have just designed a transition table for this particular transition diagram so if you go through we having a total five states e is nothing but our final state and a is our initial state so by processing zero i reach to a state of b by processing one in a state i am reaching to c consider a state b in b state by processing zero i am reaching to a state that is self loop and by processing one i am reaching to a state that is d so in this way i have designed a transition table for this particular transition diagram so how to minimize the first step of minimization is a zero equivalence what exactly the zero equivalence it means it means that now you are going to bifurcate a non final state and final state into one category means the first category will be a non final state so which are those state which is not a final state so that is a b c d so i have defined one set which is of a non final state and the second one is a set of final state and the final state i having just only state that is e so the zero equivalence the first step is to bifurcate a non final state and a final state so i have just define a state a b c d in non final state and in final state that is e next step is our one equivalence in this state you are going to check for each and every input that is for 0 and 1 in state a b c d where exactly they are going to reach say consider a in a if you check by processing 0 i am reaching to a state b and by processing 1 i am reaching to a state c so where exactly the b c so b c it is in a non final state only so here the first set is of a why by processing 0 and 1 i reach to b and c and b and c it is in non final state only next consider b in b when i process 0 and 1 i am reaching to a state b and d so where this b and d it is it is again into a non final state only so again in this set i am adding 
state B. Now consider C. So in C, by processing 0, I am reaching to a state B and by processing 1, I am reaching to a state C. So where exactly the B and C it is, it is in again a non-final state only. So I am adding again a C into this set. Now the last state it is remaining that is a D. So in D, when I process 0, it is reaching to a state B and B it is in non-final state. And by processing 1 in D, it is reaching to E and E it is a final state. So just go through 0 and 1. If I process in a state D, by processing 0, it is reaching to a non-final state and by processing 1, it is reaching to a final state. Two separate set it is there for 0 and 1. So now we will just split this non-final state into A, B, C. This will be a one set again D. Why? Because it is mapping to a non-final state and final state. And E, it remains as it is. Why? Because it's a final state. Now consider two equivalence. Now consider for a A. So in A, when I process 0 and 1, it is reaching to B and C. So B and C, it is into a same set only. For next B, in state B, when I process 0 and 1, it is by processing 0, it reached to a state B. And by processing 1, it reached to a other set that is to a D. So this B, now it has been split. That is A, B, C, this set it has been split. And B, it is having its separate. Why? Because it is mapping for A, B, C as well as to a D, a separate set. Now consider C. So by processing 0, I reach to B. And by processing 1, I reach to C. So B, C, it is into a same set only. So A and C, it will be in one set. B it will be in another set D as it is that is a separate set just only of a set D as well as E. Now check for the next equivalence that is a 3 equivalence. So by processing 0 I am reaching to a B. So B it is into a separate set by processing 1 it is reaching to a same set where exactly the A it is there. Next go for B. By processing 0, it reached to a set that is B and by processing 1, it is reaching to a D. So this B will be in this set. D and E as it is. Next we are going to check for A and C only. A by processing 0 in A, it reached to B and by processing 1, it reached to C. Same as for C only. C same where A it goes for 0 and 1. So this set it remains as it is. So if you compare it with the previous set, if you compare it with the two equivalents, I am getting the same set for the three equivalents only. So here we are going to stop to just reduce the DFA. So the state which we are getting is A and C. A and C. This will be our one state B. It's an another D and E. So totally we are having four state. A, C, it's combined. So we will design a transition diagram. So we are having A, C as one state, then B, it's an another, next one is D and the last one that is a final state E and the initial state is our A. Now consider when I process 0 in this state, in which state it is moving, it is reaching to a state of B. 
same as in A and C, when I process a one, it having a self loop to this particular state that is A and C. Now go for B. In B, when I process a zero, it's having a self loop to its state that is B. Next one, by processing one, it reach to the next state that is to a D. Same as for the E, when I process zero, when I process zero, it is reaching to a state that is to B. And when I process one, it is reaching to a state that is to a C. And C is here. Same as for the D, when I process zero, it is reaching to a state B and when I process 1, it is reaching to a final state that is to a E. So, in this way, you can easily minimize a DFA. Next example is related to minimization of DFA. We are having total 6 states A, B, C, D, E, F and the transition table is represented for this transition diagram. But in this DFA or in this machine, we having multiple final state. So the first step is to calculate a zero equivalence. Zero equivalence, how we are going to calculate? We are going to just categorize a non-final state and a final state. So in a non-final state, non-final state, which state is a non-final state? A, B and F. These are the three states which are a non-final state. Next category is of a final state. So now, in this transition diagram, we are having a multiple final state C, D, E. So, in a final set, we are having C, D, and E. So, this is all about a zero equivalence just to bifurcate a non final state and a final state. So, next step is to calculate a one equivalence. So, now check. A 0 and 1 in state A. So in state A, when I process 0, it reached to B. B, it is in a non-final state. When I process 1 in A, it reached to C. C, it is in final state. So in one equivalence, now the first set. And in that set, A, it is coming. Next, go for B. So, when I process 0 in B, it reached to A. So, A, it is in non-final state. Next, check for B. In B, when I process 0, it reached to a state that is A. And A, it is in non-final state. In B, when I process 1, it reached to D. And D, it is in final state. So, A and B, it is in the same set for a one equivalence. Next check for F. When I process zero in F, it reaches to F and F, it is a non-final state for zero. And for one in F, again it reaches to a non-final state. So if I compare A, B and F, a, B, when I process 0, it reaches to B and when I process 0 in B, it reaches to A. B, A, it is in non-final state. And when I process 1 in A and B, it reaches to a final set that is C and D. But it is different for F. F for 0 and 1, both for 0 and 1, it reaches to a non-final state. So here, now we are going to split this set. So this set will be of A, B and F. And final set, it is as it is, that is C, D, A. 
now go for the next step that is two equi valence for a and b for a and b by processing zero in a and b it reach to b and a and b and a it is in a same set next by processing one in a and b it reaches to c and d and c and d it is in a same set that is into a final set next for f when i process zero and one it remain into the same set that is into a f so this set it is as it is that is of a one equivalence so two equivalence and one equivalence is having the same set so we are going to stop here only so just go through original transition diagram totally we having the six state now we have reduced we have minimized it to just only for a three state the first state is of a b second state is of f and the third state is of c d e now we will design the transition diagram for minimization of dfa our first state is a b second is f and the third one is c d and e now check for a b when i process zero it remains in b and a so for zero it's having a self loop what about one in a when i process one it reaches to c and when i process one in b it reaches to d so where exactly here from a b when i process one it reached to a state that is c d e next for f when i process zero and one it remain into the same state that self loop of zero and one for f what about c d e state when i process zero it reach to e and e it is into a set of c d e so when i process zero it's having a self loop for the state of c d e and when i process one when i process one in c d e it reaches to state that is f so when i process one it reaches to a state that is f so we have minimized from six state to just only a three state so in this way we can easily go through a zero equivalence one equivalence two equivalence three equivalence and when we having a same result for the previous equivalence we are going to stop there only so this is all about minimization of dfa